So sabi niya, sabi ni Bishop, call the Cardinal. Ah, Excellency, it's already 11.30 eh. Call the Cardinal. So, dahil na akong pilya. Sabi ko sa guard, hello? Pero ang sumagot, si Father So. Sabi ko, So, Cardinal, isang mga kausap ni Bishop Pakani. O, oh, eto. Nagkakusap siya, nagising pa, 11.30 na. Your Eminence, please call for people power. Please, please call for people power, Your Eminence. Yes, Your Eminence. Yes, Your Eminence. Yes, Your Eminence. Di ba lang kami yung mga niyayas niya? <laughs> Tapos binaba. So, babalik na ako sa kwarto ko. Sabi ni Bishop Pangani, saan ka punta? Tulog na po. It's the midnight na. <laughs> Hindi, dito nga lang. Bumalik ka, magsutana ka. Dito ka sa kasama ko ka. Ay, magsusutana na ka. Let's go. Alam niyo yung pag-ibig ba? One year pa lang kami na pakari. Junior priest. Wala akong pakialam sa mga gayaan. Ako yung nangfrel ako. Nagbantay ng balota. Hindi ba yun? Nagbantay ng balota. Pagod. Magsusutaan na. Ito o sino. So baba ako. Siyempre, si obedience. Sabi, ano po yun, Bisha? Meron po pa kayong pagagawa? Tawag ko ni sa Bilya. Ang lagi sumasagot si So. You can tell him that. Gising pa rin siya. Hello? So? Hmm. Sorry, makakausap ni Bishop, si Cardinal. Ah, sandali ha? Sandali. Sandali. So, kasandali. May pinuntahan siya. Kasi later on, nag-sharing na kami. Nasa si Cardinal doon? Ako, Jerry. Nasa private chapel. Tinawag ko. The only one that can disturb him is one of his auxiliaries. Ang mga auxiliaries niya noon was Sobrevinias, Gabriel Reyes, Buhain, Cornelius De Witt. No, yung mga yun. Okay? Nahan tayo sila. Eh siya, in charge ng South Manila. Sabi niya, hello, Pope. Sabi niya gano'n. Oh, yes. Yes, Your Eminence. Thank you, Your Eminence. Thank you, Your Eminence. Yes, Your Eminence. Ang sinabi pa sa akin, gusto ka niya sinabi, ang sinabi. Later on na yun, isi-sharing siya. Number one, the first, the first group of defense has already been called. Alam niyo kung sino? Sabi niya, the Cardinal. Sabi niya, the Cardinal. First group of defense. Sino yan? The three contemplatives in his archdiocese. Pinatawag si Archbishop So, si Father So, sa Carmel ng Gilmore, sa Big Sisters ng Hemadi, at Poor Clares ng Katipunan. Ang sabi sa mga madre, wake up all the sisters. Wake them up. Wake them up. Expose the Blessed Sacrament. And with arms outstretched, plead to God for peace in our country. Do not bring those arms down until I tell you. Oh, na be done. Kaya mas may may lumabas na kwento na the veil of the sisters is more powerful than the helmets of the soldiers. Mahapangyari niya. Sabi ng big sisters kay Father So. Father, we are in 24 hours adoration, but I will wake them up. So, pinisin. With arm, arm stretch. Ang Carmel, ang Pink, at ang Burkers are our first line of defense. You own, remember Moses and the Amalekites? Ay, nako, alam mo, Cardinal Sin is a saint. He has this hotline to heaven. Alam mo, pag kami nag-uusap ni So, sabi ko, So, I hope history will judge our beloved Cardinal Sin uh, in a friendly, loving gesture. 
He has done so much. So, ito ko naman. O, ano? So, first time of defense. So, Bishop, pwede nang matulog. <laughs> Sabi niya, no. You wake up the youth of South Manila. Get a jeep. Go to Krame. Oh, huh? <laughs> So, wala pa nung cellphone, ha? Wala pang beeper, eh. Ay, di isa-isa, tinatawa lang ko. Oy, gising daw. Sabi ni Bishop Bakal. Natakuha naman ng youth. Nakatatlong jeep kami. Pagdating natin namin doon sa Krame, wala tao. Sabi ng mga youth, ano nga kung natin dito, Father? So, sabi dito lang daw tayo, eh. Ang gano'n, eh tawag nga natin dito, o oh, sige, uh, maya maya mag-asal tayo ng rosaryo, ha? Ikaw muna, first joyful, second joyful. <laughs> maya maya, gabihin eh. Maya maya, may dumarating na mga tao, ang dadala ng pagkain. So, umiikot na ako. Pumunta na ako sa mga kanosyans ng Paco. Kasama-sama ko si Sister Carmen. Magpakain tayo, Padre. Magpakain tayo. Magunos dili ka. Sandali. Masyado ang hats. So, nakakuha na ako ng mga pagkain. Punta ko sa may Otis. May mga guwardiya doon. May mga guwardiya doon. So, sa dali-dali lang ako nagda-drive. Tumigil kayo! Babarilin namin kayo! Sabi sa amin. Sabi ni Sister Carmen, hindi maliit na madre yun eh. Panaw siya, hindi, hindi tayo mapalilin na. Lakad lang tayo. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> tayo mapalilin na para sa inyo. Para sa inyo. Sabi ko, Sister, sige maunit. <laughs> Kasi may nakabari na. Ang kawang na ito gano'n. Siya na lang yung shield. Hindi tayo ang plano ko. Tapos, ang plano ko, magpapalilin na tayo. Kaya ako na mamatay yung apat ng Jerusalem. Kasama si Gurley noon. Yun. Ah, wala. Nandun, naiwan. Hindi na sa row nga tanong eh. But anyway, nandun na. Tapos sabi, sige! Gumano ng kasam! Sabi ni Sister Carmen, babalini nga yun. Ano gagawin natin? Ito ba? Tapos lakad kami. Pagsakay namin sa van, sabi ko, magkano ba nagagana tayo kung sino ang umuno dito? Hindi naman kayo ako eh. Hindi na ko si Sir Carmen, ako gano'n no? Oh, Diyos ko, ano ba yan? Kaya siya sabi, the sign and dependent. Naku, those are glorious days. Four days doon. Tapos nandun ako, sabi sa akin, hindi siya pa kanil, balik ka lang sa balik ka doon. Hindi siya ba doon matulog muna? Hindi, doon ka. Nakalang nakikita, nakasuta na ka. So, ganun. Dalawang araw na, nandun ako, nangingitim na yung sutaan ako. Bumagilig-gilig na mga anak ko, nangingitim na. Puro lipak na yung mga mukha ako. Tapos sabi ko, yung madre niya, lalapit yan eh. Yung madre niya. Sabihin niyo, walang pari dito ah. Kung papaminsan na naman yung madalang mga. Ang lalo pa. Sa loob lang ako ng Toyota na to. May pari ba dito? May pari. Sabi niyo, madre. May pari. Okay, mahinga. Sabi ng mga madre, eto po ang pare. Anong pahamak talaga mga kanosyas? So, lumabas ako, sabi, pade, ano, mag-isa ka. Mukhang masoday yung RGS. So, sabi ko, sige, mag-iisa ako, pero wala akong masked. Pumunta kayo sa ano, sa Jose. Sa Claudio, sa Jose, Green Hills. Pumunta kami dahil si pare dito. Italian. Father, may baro masked. Okay, she he prepared. Gave it to me. Nung dumating na ako, sabi ko, ay, saan ang lamesa? 
Ano na mesa? O sige, dito na lang ako sa ibabaw ng bubong ng Toyota. Ang mga sapo doon. The Lord be with you. Eh, nung communion na ang haba, eh, kukunti ng Ostia ko. Alam mo yung samalit na Ostia? Anim na piros. Sabi ko si Sir, yun dito. O dito na communion ako yung bigay. Ano yung nagawa ko na lang? Ano, halo-halo na yung malaway na lang. Sige, sila ano. Nabuso! Ganun naman yung mga madyo. Body of life. Masaya yung AIDS. Sabi sa akin yung mga madyo, ba't nila lagi mo niloloko? Sister, let's have fun. More fun. More fun. Okay, next. Number six. The person is social by nature in a network of relationship. What does that mean? Ese, esco, ese. The human person being with others. Take note. The church is an expert in humanity. Who said this? Blessed Paul the Six. It is the gospel proclaimed in the social realm. Thus, it is called Christifying the social order. Where the gospel values are translated into concrete social concerns, into family, politics, culture, and economy. The word in Ecclesia in Asia is the phrase human promotion. Human promotion began to be used in the document Ecclesia in Asia, underlining the importance of promoting the dignity and rights of persons and people. So take note of this phrase, huh? human promotion. So mababasa niyo yun. Particularly in the writings of Filipino theologians today. Now, what then is evangelization? What then is evangelization? This is by far a very important definition of evangelization. There. Yeah. Number one, it is proclamation of the good news of salvation. Proclamation of the good news of salvation. The development of the human person in all his or her strata, in all his or her strata. The liberation of the human person from oppressive social structures. And the renewal of society to the interplay of life and faith. Actually, ang nagbigay ng definition na ito ng evangelization ay ang CBCP in 1983. This presents to us a very good understanding of evangelization. Namely, one, proclamation. Two, development. Where did this come from? Populorum? Liberation? From liberation theology. Liberation. From oppressive social structures. Or, another one, justice in the world. Anong nakalagay sa justice in the world? Action on behalf of justice and participation in the transformation of society fully appeared to us as a constitutive dimension in the proclamation of the gospel. Justice in the world. Again, action on behalf of justice and participation in the transformation of society fully appeared to us as a constitutive dimension in the proclamation of the gospel. Meaning, when one works for justice, one is evangelizing. When one is engaged in the transformation of society, one is evangelizing. Evangeliz evangelization, therefore, is holistic. Now, now, there are three values, okay? Anin ko muna. Mag-evangelization muna tayo. Since, um, uh, all of the 
these notes from BCP2, if you are interested, I can give it to you. Because one of my jobs at the CBCP was to echo BCP2. is always connecting Vatican II to PCP2, which is right. PCP2 is our Vatican II. Okay, now let's look at this. This is the vision mission statement of the Church of the Philippines. It's from John the 23rd, the opening. These are the four objectives of Vatican II. Four objectives, no? Okay, sign natin. Vision mission. And afflicted by widespread poverty, yet we be aspiring for the fullness of life in God. We as church in the Philippines with total trust in God's love and vision ourselves as a community of disciples who firmly believe in the Lord Jesus and joyfully live in harmony and solidarity with one another, with creation, and with God. Following the way of our Lord, we ought to be a church of the poor, which demands evangelical poverty of us all and harnesses the transformative power of the poor among us towards the justice and love of God in this world. To achieve this vision under the leading of the Spirit of God and with Mary as our guide, we shall embark on a renewed integral evangelization and witness to Jesus Christ's gospel of salvation and liberation through our words, deeds, and lives. As bishops, priests, religious, and laity, we together commit ourselves to implement the Spirit and the priest of the Second Plenary Council of the Philippines in order to inculturate gospel values in our milieu. By this shall Kayu San order and harmony be achieved through persons who are makadios, makatao, makabayan, and makabuha. Ours will then be a civilization of life and love, a sign of the engraving of the Father's kingdom. Now, Yun ang pastoral priorities, no? These are the three objectives of PCP. <coughs> that every Filipino may imbue integral spirituality. That every Filipino may build a participatory church. So the time is that every Filipino may engage in social transformation. That no objectives no PCP2. Here are three objectives. Integral spirituality, participatory church, and social transformation. Okay? With the double message of salvation liberation. Ama? Basahin ninyo ang PCP2 documents, makikita ninyo message of salvation, message of liberation. Sa salvation, the renewal of three areas, catechesis, liturgy, and social apostolate. Catechesis is prophet, liturgy is priest, social apostolate is king. With new methods, new expressions, malito, new expressions, new parable. Liberation, identifying sin as the root of social ills, towards conversion, way of Jesus, and the formation of social conscience and Catholic social teachings. The priests now and bishops are called servant leaders. The religious are called prophet servants. And the lay are empowered. PCP to that. Empowerment of the lay. Now, there are five specific elements of evangelization. This is from by the Kroger. First element is direct proclamation, catechesis. First element. Number two. Second element, liturgical life, prayer, and contemplation. 
So liturgy, worship, is evangelizing. Number three, presence and witness. It is the most powerful <coughs> method of evangelization. In all that you do, preach the gospel. When necessary, use words. Effective presence. Tama? Number four, commitment to social development and human liberation. Service to the poor is evangelization. Advocacy for the poor is evangelization. Kaya ang, 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 ang option for the poor, this is from Soc Villegas, option for the poor has four levels. Number one, option for the poor is first level, praying for the poor. Okay? Number two, second level, service to the poor. Feeding them, clothing them, visiting them. Okay? Third level, from service to development, teaching them how to fish. Uh, empowering them, giving them skills so that they can find a job. <coughs> ALS, Alternative Learning Systems. Ama? With the pen? And then number four is the highest. So I've Archbishop so which is what? Liberational. When you begin to critique social structures that are sinful in political, economic, and cultural order. When you do a social analysis and say there are problems in our social systems, that is liberational. Because you strike at social sins. Tama siya. Four movements, no option for the poor. One, praying for the poor. Two, serving the poor. Third, three, developmental programs for the poor. And four, liberation. That's from Song. That's from Song Villegas, so Archbishop Song. Huh? Next. So is that evangelizing? Answer is yes. Yes. Number five, ecumenism and interfaith dialogue is also evangelization. So one of the things that could be done by the Sahal as part of your training is engage you in ecumenism. Engage you in interfaith dialogue as part of the agenda of training. How do you talk in the public school with children who do not belong to the Catholic Church? <coughs> do you put them aside? No. There is what we call the process of catechizing even non-Catholic Christians and non-Christians. How do you do that? I think that should be studied well. Because in the public school, there are Muslim students. There are students who belong to the Iglesia. Tama. Yes. And there are students who belong to the born again Buddhist faith. Number seven, eight. The intent of social doctrine is of the religious and moral order. Please take note. The social doctrine of the church is not a ploy to create a political party. No. It is to inspire people to look into principles that would guide them in decision-making process. You know what is so important now is to teach. In third chapter of Horace Laetitia, huh, Pope Francis is asking the church to engage in deep discernment. In fact, that is now the topic of the synod. Discernment. Which could be a part of your training. Teaching you how to do discernment. And our brothers in the Society of Jesus are very good men of the spirit because of their rootedness in the spiritual exercises. But discernment is not simply Ignatian. It could be Benedictine. It could be Augustinian. There are different ways to discern the will of God. And what we need now is what? To accompany people in the process of discernment and to ask, Lord, what do you want me to do? 
The question is, what ought I to do? What ought I to do? Or better yet, a deeper question is, Quo vadis domine? Remember that this is the prayer of Peter? And the prayer of Peter is, Quo vadis domine? On the Appian way. And our Lord told Peter, I will go back to Rome to be crucified again. And Simon Peter stood up, went back to Rome, he was caught, and he was crucified. About to be crucified, he said, I'm not worthy to be crucified. Turn me upside down. And such a beautiful reflection of Archbishop Saul. The feet of Peter. <coughs> ang mga paa bow. Ni Pedro. Ang mga paa na ayaw pahugasan kay Jesus. Ang mga paa na kabuntik ng malunod pero naglakad sa tubig. Pero ang mga paa na pinagmalaki ni Pedro nung siya'y nakapako sa krus. Huwag niyong tingnan ng buka ko kung hindi tingnan ninyo ang mga paa ko. Sapagat yung mga paa yan ang hinalikan ni Jesus. Reflection niyo ni Archbishop Song nasa, nasa, nasa posting ng Ligay ng Nagupan. The reflection is so powerful. Happy are the feet that brings glad tidings to all. The feet. The feet of Peter. Powerful. Right? The social doctrine has gone through ships in focus, worldview, and method. This I would like to do in a later formation, which is the shift. C. Reflect. Ah, the inductive approach move from deductive to inductive. And number 10, we have a rich social doctrine from Leave the 13 to present to the present Francis's Laudato C. Let's have a 15 20 minute break. You have their uh, toasted bread and carbonara, yeah. courtesy of La Salle. <laughs> courtesy of Dr. Lissante. You bless the food in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Bless us, O Lord. Please thank you. We are about to receive from the bounty through Christ our Lord. Amen.